You look like you're awake and you're ready to feed. New mom Michelle wants to breastfeed her son Dominic, but she knows that breastfeeding isn't always as simple as it looks. Breastfeeding is a natural experience, um, but it also has to be practiced and it has to be learned. With a few key pointers from Laura Queso, a board-certified lactation consultant, Michelle and Dominic can set off on the right foot. Both of you have to learn together. Mm -hmm. You have to learn positioning, you have to learn your baby's cues, and he has to learn how to suck on the nipple properly. You'll want to begin feeding when you and your baby are relaxed, calm, and alert. Your baby will give you visual cues, like licking or smacking his lips, or sucking his hands or fingers to tell you he's hungry. Crying is usually the last sign of hunger. Should we help get mom comfortable, position to feed you? Pillows can help you avoid back and neck pain, and will help you position your baby to be level with your breast. Put him in lap so we can support the baby. The goal is for the pillow to support your baby's weight keeping his nose in line with your nipple. Use your arm to hold your baby close to you with his whole body facing you. With this hand, I want mm -hmm. you to scoop up your breast mm -hmm. and hold it like a C, okay? Mm -hmm. Now see how you have here. That's mm -hmm. good with the thumb, but a lot of women make the mistake of putting the index finger too close to the areola. One of the most common problems lactation consultants see is an improper or shallow latch. Sure to get a good deep latch, okay. Support your breast and help your baby get the nipple deep in his mouth. And tease the baby with your nipple up and down and wait for the baby to open really wide. Lean it with his chin and draw the nipple into his mouth. The nipple should end up near the soft back palate, behind the hard roof of your baby's mouth. You want to bring the baby to the breast, not bring the breast to the baby. Are you comfortable? Yes. Is your arm supported? Mm -hmm. All right. And the baby is in a nice alignment and he's completely facing you. This is called cradle position. In addition to the cradle position, there are two other positions you can try. With a football or clutch hold, your baby is placed on a pillow next to you. This position is good for newborns because it supports your baby's head. It's also good for women recovering from a C-section and those with large breasts. The lying down position allows babies to attach easily. With your baby on his side facing you, Draw him close. You can cradle his bottom or head with one hand if necessary. Once you get home, this can be a good position to do. You can get a little bit of a rest. You like to see that the lips are flanged out, and then he has a nice wide angle here. I always say it's like a fish kissing a wall. A baby, when they're sucking, will take about a silver dollar's worth of tissue in. Okay, so every woman's anatomy is different. Some women's nipples are larger. So you have to go by about how much the baby has taken into the mouth and you did a beautiful job. Thank you. And Dominic's doing a beautiful job. <laughs> there may be times when you need to help your baby unlatch, such as when you're uncomfortable or your baby's done feeding but is still sucking intermittently. You can help your baby release the nipple by breaking the suction with your finger. So you want to put your finger in the corner of the baby's mouth mm -hmm. and you want to just break the suction and slide the baby off. Good. If your baby's fallen asleep while feeding and you don't think he's had enough yet, you can encourage him to start up again. You can tap the baby under the chin. Just a couple little taps just to remind him why he's there moving the chin on the nipple. Okay. And he'll feel that in his mouth and they'll usually start up a little bit again. It's also normal for babies to go through spurts where they want to feed frequently. They will do some feeding frenzies uh, in the first few days. The baby will want to feed maybe every hour for a few hours in a row. How do I know if he's getting anything or not? The best way to tell is by counting your baby's wet and dirty diapers. About six wet and three dirty diapers in 24 hours means he's getting a good amount to eat. Other signs your baby's eating well include the softening of your breasts after a feeding and the sounds he makes while feeding. Can you hear him swallow? Mm -hmm. Good. Means he's transferring milk. And how long will he nurse? Babies can nurse anywhere from five minutes mm -hmm. to 45 minutes. We try to let the baby tell us how long the baby needs. Most babies will fall asleep and self-detach when they're full. In the first days and weeks, new mothers may experience nipple soreness, which can be eased by applying breast milk or nipple ointment. If soreness persists, your baby may not be positioned or latching well. A lactation consultant can help. 
you might also experience engorgement. Normal fullness is to be expected, but engorgement is not normal. Okay. okay, engorgement is a very hard breast, can be very, very lumpy. Milk has a difficult time passing through the breast when it is engorged. The best thing to ward off engorgement is frequent feedings. For engorgement, you can use ice in 10-minute intervals on the upper breast after each feeding. If your baby isn't able to drain your engorged breast, Try hand expressing some milk or use a breast pump to relieve the discomfort. If you develop a fever or a hot red spot on your breast, call your doctor. These can be signs of an infection known as mastitis. Perfecting this partnership may take some time. Positioning, practice, patience, and persistence. If the mother meets those four P's, usually she will have a successful breastfeeding experience. I think we got it, Dominic.